Hi, so it's Friday. I promised in a comment that I was gonna talk about some stuff and as we are currently two weeks out from the cruise, figured might as well not, you know, do a football video. Are those, uh, no, I don't, nah, I don't know. Uh, if I sway back and forth, it's because typically where I, I have a funky setup right now and there is a line going right through the side screen. So I may lean this way to see my face, and I may lean this way. Anyways, so for now, we're gonna put up over here, this is the current schedule for the tryouts. We're probably gonna still have Thursday and Sunday practices. There was a little talk about a month ago, may have been a week ago, I'm losing track of time about whether or not we will move Sunday earlier or later. I'm not sure. We had that one practice, which was in coupling with the hockey club. They had like a Super Bowl theme thing, so the neighboring football team came over and did a little show for stuff. And uh, yeah, so that was fun. It was a great little community event, but I'm drinking my protein shake right now. And I figured, so that's the schedule. If you live in the Netherlands and you want to try out football and you've seen, say, I don't know, the entire last season, perhaps, and, and you want to be a part of something great, here you go. Come try out. You know, the more, more of the tryout, I, I would say from experience with multiple teams and how others have talked to me in the Netherlands, it's not so much tryout to make the team, whereas some teams probably have that. Um, most teams in the Netherlands are not straining their roster. Um, so basically what you're doing is you're coming out to see if you won, like football at all. We've had some people come out and be like, hey, and then boom, like they get lit up or they get knocked over and they don't get hurt, but they do get knocked down. And they're like, mm -mm, not my thing, you know? And then there's always like, you know, you've got a player that comes in for a while and they're like, I'm going to be a running back today. And they're a running back and they get lit up by one of your players. And, they're, and you're just like, is he dead? <laughs> and he comes back the next practice. He's like, that was actually really fun. So that can always happen. Second of all, they can, the tryouts are, there'll be sort of like the first one you can come see if you even like it. You can come back on the second one and say, hey, I want to try out certain positions. I mean, obviously there's a body style for a position, but there's like multiple positions for a body style, <laughs> you know, big boys, you've got line and D line and lots of work. We had it's up and down and Ed's great on the hurricanes. He, you know, <laughs> I call him a career lineman. He's going to get you right as rain. Although rain is pretty proliferate in the I don't know what the Dutch term is for that. You know, if you happen to be somewhere like 90 to 100 kilos, you know, we've got a couple positions for you that's more of like in the box, but not on the line. Um, and, and if you're skinny and small, we've got positions for that too. <laughs> it's, it's all, you know, football is for everyone. Everyone can play football, but the clause is not everyone can play every position. If you have trouble jogging 20 meters, you're probably not going to be a receiver. Can be picked up by me by one hand, you're probably not going to be a lineman. That's, I'm, there are limitations to the positions of who your opponents are going to be. So that's what's going on with that. The address is right here in case this thing doesn't doesn't give you there's a link to the Facebook post which gives a bigger picture because I'm not sure the quality of this one on your screen uh, YouTube does weird stuff got that um, so there's three different Sundays and like I said if you can't see this there's a link to the Facebook page which posted on the hill for some hurricanes contact them on Facebook that's how I did it when I got here a year ago um, and I found out all the information and yeah uh, if you're not anywhere near Randstad, uh, I, I, I'll say this, there's a bunch of us in, live in Amsterdam or that commute over to Hilversum, so you got some sort of carpool there. You don't have to worry about going way out to Hillsborough. Wow, that was a slip of the tongue. 
way out to Hilversum. Fair, they're very similar. And I did consider Hillsboro way out there. Um, actually, I'm kind of getting it now. Anyways, uh, uh, I, we've got a couple guys that live in Utrecht. Uh, we have some guys that live in Amersfoort. I know that there was an Amersfoort team once, uh, but apparently they got absorbed into the Hilfersome because the towns are right next to each other. To me, that's me gesturing because I think Amersfoort's a little further beyond Hilversum, so they pull in more closer to the edge. You know, obviously, if you live up in, like, Groningen or down in, like, Eindhoven or Zeeland, you're probably not going to be going all the way to Hilversum. Uh, but there are teams close for you guys. Uh, I know Maastricht has the Wildcats and Zeeland. And I know that, like, there's one in Rotterdam. So you've got teams nearby. I just am a linebacker on the Hurricanes, so that's why I am promoting the Hurricanes. Speaking of which, let's also go over, for my regular viewers, gear I'll be wearing. Most of this has not changed. This is... <laughs> you will see here this line in my body. Yeah, one of the things that changed is... Not the actual, like, game jersey. That's still owned by the club, but my practice jersey had to change. So let's get into that. Let's go with the top-down approach here. We've got my helmet. It is a Zenith Epic. Uh, the face mask, as you guys can see, is called Prowl. Some people say it looks like Predator. Some people think it looks like Bane. Um, I like it. It fits really well. I got this as a sponsorship deal a couple years ago, and I've been using it ever since. It's still good for a couple years. Um, before I have to get it reconditioned, but I'm not sure if I can get it reconditioned. I'm in Europe now. I mean, I could always mail it to my mother-in-law. But anyways, so yeah, as you can see, our colors are blue and yellow. It looks gold more, you know, to me than yellow. But then again, I'm colorblind. And there's a difference between yellow and yellow. To you, this probably looks yellow, like clear as day yellow. And this looks like some sort of highlighter green. This is called Volt from Nike. I, I was told by the guy when I joined that it's blue and yellow, so blue and yellow it is. I don't have to get it repainted, thankfully, because Rohir did a really good job at painting this. He likes how it came out, and I do too. It probably would have much more damage on it if I didn't break my collarbone, but you know. Football be football. Um, yeah, so that's the helmet. Okay, moving on down, I... We're going to just show off. So this is my practice jersey. It is a Champ Pro Sports Medium. It's 100% polyester. I had a black one, which had much more of a mesh body. As you can see in this picture, this is what I pretty much wore to practice most of the time. And when you've got a team that defense is blue and offense is white, kind of stand out, especially with my helmet, which was black for a while until like we went to Paris. <laughs> uh, and then this look came in, and this is what the home uniform looks like. I have different socks now, uh, so it might help. I also am going to try to find an Under Armour-ish shirt, because I was borrowing that one. So yeah, now I have at least people are like, well, you don't have to match, it doesn't matter. And I'm just like, I, I get it, guys. I don't have to match. Christ, can I want something? I don't have to do something. You don't have to take the train. You can get a ride. I like taking the train. To be fair, there was a lot of transit hiccups that happened later into the practice season. So I was like, so as construction season came about, so it was like, we're going to do rail work. And I'm like, oh boy, that's the jersey. It, it doesn't have any like, it just floppied up. Well, you, you'll see. Because my shoulder pads, which are still good, um, are Shut Varsity Flex 4.0. They are adult small, um, just because that's how they fit. It says 16 to 70, whatever. But yeah, like, I don't think anyone's going to say that these are too, you know, that looks pretty good, right? Now I'm going to do this like I showed in my suit up video on how to do this correctly and not the wrong way like so many other people do. Take your pads, you find the front of your jersey, 
or the back, either way, and you put it over first. And then this. See? Just make sure before you put everything on, it look goofy. Uh, yeah. See, you got the V in your neck on the front of your pads. You cinch everything up around there. And say, this is so easy. I don't know why people do this so terribly. Like, I've seen videos of like game day things and I've got like skinny kids to big kids that like put their pads on and then they try to fit a jersey over it. And they require two or three people, especially if they're like linemen. And I'm like, I've seen the linemen now that are like adults and they just see <laughs> and then on see I'm gonna get up and <clears throat> see people need to like you know get like three people to try to haul a jersey I, I understand compression jerseys I had compression jerseys <laughs> you know like that's just how it is and so I it's just so much especially with a compression jersey because then you can stretch it and put it over the pads where you have the ability to do that and then just and then it squeezes on your chest and then you buckle everything up and then you roll it down or you use a crop top thing because that's a thing these days. So I'm definitely going to be more blue with the team and whatnot. See, and I had to make sure to get, because there, there was blue and then there was dark blue. And so I ordered the dark blue from this company, even though on Champro site this says royal blue. Getting stuff in Europe requires going through like third party websites that may not necessarily do things correctly, so. But as you can see, it's not perfect, obviously, but it's also a practice jersey, so what do you do? But as you can see, it's not cinched up around my arm. I feel like a I feel like a princess quarterback here. That's that. And then on top of that, getting pads off. Not that hard. I've seen a lot of people like, oh, the struggle is real. And I'm like, well, the struggle is a little bit real. And I've had compression jerseys. Like, you know, don't at me. I've had compression jerseys and I have been slightly larger than I am now with those same compression jerseys. I know it's kind of a pain to get off, but this is a bulky, this is a loose jersey. So That's how you get it off. And for those of you who don't necessarily understand, how to, like, I don't know why. I've seen, I've seen some people do that. Stick your helmet in, pull your face mask through, hold it like that. That way, you know, you can also set it down, keep your helmet run, and that way, if anything sits on your shoulder pads, like in the back of your mom's minivan or something, it's not gonna squeeze your shoulder pads and you're gonna, they're gonna deform, especially in the heat. Next, gloves. We've got Under Armour Spotlight. See, these are adult large, because everything but my shoulder pads is large. <laughs> but as you can see, they're blue, they're sticky. I used them one or two games and then I, you know, got injured and was out for the season. So they are still relatively new and they are quite sticky. Oh, I'm pulling skin off there. Did you, you see that? That's sticky. That's as I won't be wearing the practice jersey. Come on. Those are great. So yeah. I, I do have a second glove, see, two gloves. They don't have some cool little design like the Joker's face that I've seen from some Facebook ads or they don't say let's eat or anything like that. There's just double Under Armour. 
I'm a linebacker. I just need to get my hands to look good. I mean, sure, catching a ball is great, but it's not my. It's not the idea. The best, the, the good thing for gloves is the fact that I can reach in and pull it out and have that little bit of extra grip because some of the running backs here in the Netherlands don't like to hold, they don't hold the ball well, like Willie did. <laughs> Willie held onto that ball like it was his firstborn child. I don't ever think I saw him fumble the ball and he got tackled and wrecked so many times. And he just bounced right back up. Like, as a running back, as a, you know, scat back around here, he would be, he would be wreck around here. But I need to get him here first. I know he wants to be a receiver, but, mm, okay. Last three things. McGirdle is a Nike Pro Combat heavily worn out seven pad girdle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We know how to count seven pads. Because <laughs> there's three on each side and then the button. So I'm not sure. This is like, it's really, it's really weird. I like it, but I don't. It's great that it, you know, is like, I got this from Willie, so it's definitely seen its ages and whatnot. And the fact that it fits, it fit Willie and then now fits me means I'm not that fat. But yeah, it is listing, oh, there it is. It is, and it is a large. <laughs> but yeah, seven piece girdle. It's got the hard little things. It's got the pads that'll rip, kind of wrap around the side. So if I got any, Linemen going low on my thighs, like they can come in on the side and still got a little bit of stuff. Um, but it provides great amount of movement because I'm not dealing with like a large thick pad. Um, there's not, the protection is good. It's not as good as a big thick pad, but also having most, you know, maneuverability is pretty good. Next is my practice pants. Um, I wound up buying just extra or new ones of these uh, because I had black pants and I was technically using my old black pants from the Cobras and it was like, it was weirdly getting, getting embarrassed of having my knees emblazoned with stars and stripes. Yeah, like, let's just not do the whole like shoulders. Like I brought a jersey to practice one time to show everyone. And they were just like, this is so American. I was like, yeah, my last team was like, really hopped up on the military. So yeah, it, they're just, they're regular pants. They're Rawlings. Anybody wanna take a wild guess about what size they are? They are adult large. <laughs> I get everything about my shoulder pads. But if I put on adult large shoulder pads, I, I'd have little wings. And then finally, I have white cleats. So I don't need to worry about that too terribly much. Um, since the helmet is blue, the gloves are blue, that's fine. Uh, they're still leaving a little bit of blue trim on the away uniforms. But these are some new cleats that I haven't actually worn because I never technically played a home game of the real season. Because it was a away game, away game injury. <laughs> but they got the blue laces and the white. I mean, as you can see, they've never been used. I haven't even taken them out for practice, like training out on the field. I should probably do that and break them in. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to like have bad shoes I need to break in. Now, I could have gotten a number of like blue and yellow and a bunch of cleats here in the Netherlands. Like, cleats are not unique to the thing. The problem is, the soccer cleats don't have these four. And the rugby cleats have these, but like gigantic. Like, you take these are, well, okay, these can too, but you know, there's like this, and then there's like, I wanna get a large piercing. But like, none of the soccer cleats that I found at Decathlon have this, these four in the front. So I ordered these for like a sinful amount off eBay and had them shipped um, discreetly over here. Um, yeah. But that's fun. Whatever. I will check you guys coming up here again after as September starts. 
that's when football season will start. That's when football vlogs will start. Uh, but first, we got to get through our crews. And Aaron and I are both going to announce that coming up here probably later this weekend. Bye. <laughs>